All right, when you want to turn back the clock, there are several options from plastic surgery to fillers and medical facials. One local woman decided to do it all at the Stanislaw Plastic Surgery Center. We've been following Kimberly Mayer for the last six months. Kara went to meet with her. Take a look. I'm hoping to regain my youthful face versus this. <laughs> 52-year-old Kim Mayer is on a journey of self-transformation. She lost a lot of weight, but doesn't think time has been kind to her face. I just want to remove the crepiness underneath my eyes from having the fat pads removed and to look a little bit not as tired all the time. Kim started with a procedure called a lower blepharoplasty to remove her under eye bags. Now she's ready for a full facelift, neck lift, brow lift, eye lift, fillers, and a chemical peel. I think it's going to be a drastic change. I'm not trying to look 20 again, but I don't want to look like I'm about to turn 60 in March when I'm only going to be 53. This is Kim one day after surgery at the Stanislaw Plastic Surgery Center in Avon. And I am home recovering from having a facelift, neck lift, eye lift, and my eyelids done. Um, everything went so well. I'm really glad that I stayed awake for it. Dr. Paul Stanislaw says more patients are choosing to use local anesthetic now and stay awake for a facelift that can be done right in his office. The recovery was easier than Kim thought it would be. This is her on day three after the surgery. I got to take a shower and my appetite is back. I just had a great Valentine's dinner tonight and uh, I just, um, feel almost back to myself except for you know when I take this off it's just it's amazing actually um, I don't really know what to say it's just amazing to me Kim had planned to take two weeks off from work at a medical equipment manufacturing facility Dr. Stanislaw has been pleased with how well she's healed First thing I'm just going to just take a look on the inside of your eye okay because mm -hmm. so for the first surgery we did lower eyelid blepharoplasty and for that surgery, we made an incision on the inside of the eyelid, so there's no cuts on the outside. So all of it was sort of on the inside. You'd never know she had so much work done. We did a brow lift to lift up the brow, and we did a facelift. And you can, you can, so the incision was here, through here, through here, and it went underneath of here, here and the inside of here and here. So you can't, I mean, you, that's pretty hard to see, that incision, it heals up very, very nicely. Kim says experience matters. Dr. Paul Stanislaw is a double board certified face and neck surgeon. The, the man is like an artist, facial artistry, seriously. Um, the way he did everything within a week, I felt there was nothing, it's like nothing. Once she healed from the facelift, Kim had some fillers to plump up sunken areas and a chemical peel to smooth her skin. Oh my God, it's like uh, night and day. He took about 20 years off of my face. Here's another look at Kim before and after the procedures. I couldn't be happier. I feel more confident now. Um, I would recommend anybody that would want anything done to come to this office. They're professional, every one of them, and you will feel loved and cared for from the minute you walk through the door to the minute you're done. Amazing. All right, for more information on Kim's transformation and to see more videos of her journey, go to StanislawMD.com.